which is what's basically happening in this game right now. Just units moving around like they have hot peppers up their asses. Which makes the game incredibly frustrating to play. Like at some point, we're going to kill all of their units. We're just going to kill all of them. And so this torture is going to end. But that day is not soon enough. Because first we have to play this honestly, like, insulting game of, like, whack-a-mole, essentially, with all of their units. Come on, just kill him. Please, it's 3v1. Don't care he's an armored division. Of course, he got away. That's the usual bullshit. And their units being ridiculously fast are just able to get away and then immediately redeploy to wherever they fucking want, leaving me to deal with a extended front line that makes everything harder because my units are not as fast apparently. Come on. Oh my fucking god, of course they're retreating! The infantry here is retreating at the speed of a fucking lightning bolt. Did you see that? Like, he lost the battle and two hours afterwards he was already here. I don't fucking understand that. I just do not understand. Excellent. Again, we just need to deal with their units, and at some point they're just gonna run out of units. Very good. And at that point, we're gonna be the ones flanking them, because we are just gonna have more troops along the front line. Wow, look at that. The mechanized are so incredibly fast that they can they can just destroy units by overrunning them. My god, how are their infantry faster than my tanks? Holy fucking shit. They reconnected it. Of course. Oh well, at least uh, we got Buffalo encircled. 
No, screw you, Warsaw Pact. Yeah, we really need to close this front and, like, you know, end the American Commonwealth. How close are we? 63% towards capitulation. All right. At this point, we could just go for the mad dash for the VPs, you know? Damn it. Their infantry have just way too much attack in cities. Come on, 2v1 at least. Jesus Christ. Two V one, not enough. Three. Okay, we're close to Washington, D.C. Very good. Now, at this point, what I think I'm going to be doing is, again, trying to destroy the units. Because this is just pissing me off. Something royal. Uh, can we take just Boston? Just like that? No, we cannot. Oh, but we can take New York. Who the hell is that guy? What the fuck's that flag? Who the hell are you? Is that the Phoenix Front? <laughs> that is the British. What the f- A bloody course. They didn't even take the Focus 3, did they? Truly British military. Yeah, they... they did not... Mm. We still haven't taken Unite with corporations. They still haven't taken Unite with corporations, so they're relatively... backward on their focus stream. This sounds a lot better in the actual game. That never sounds good. <laughs> Come on, take that New York. Jesus Christ. Are we gonna lose a division because of this? We can take New York, we can destroy these two divisions, we can take Washington, we can save this division from annihilation. And we can hopefully, there we go, finally. Uh, oh wow, oh okay, oh what the fuck? The American Republic capitulated too. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, the Warsaw Pact also has war score, but, you know, it's pretty much our show. Very good. I am happy for this. <laughs> you look at that European Union. It's quite great. Did the European Union do anything? No. Very good. Bermuda is not American. Puerto Rico is. Very good. 
Guantanamo Bay? Yeah, thank you very much. I'll take that. Any other, like, random territories I'm not thinking about? No, don't think so, because Hawaii is its own independent nation. So, yeah, that's never gonna be part of us, at least not until we go to war with the Canadians. But yeah, it seems like this peace deal is mostly our show. Because the European Union and the Soviet Union just didn't didn't do enough. So we can take it all. Excellent. Yep, they didn't take anything. Very nice. Very good. Now do you Hold on. Very good. Now the UAPR stretches from from coast to shining coast. Very, very good. Um, now, how do we declare the return of the United States? Because, you know, foreign policy, the United States are back. Right? What the hell is this? Okay, much better now. There we go. Damn, we need a lot of chromium. Wait, what? Italian Union? Looks like the trade interface did not update. Anyway, um... Yeah, like, seriously, how are we gonna declare the United States to have returned? Because, uh... I'm pretty sure that that's what this is supposed to be. Right? You know, it's also supposed to give me co... Wait, we have cores on everything? No, we do not have... Okay, there we go. The American question. Almost every state of the former United States is in our hands, and there is a growing movement both within and outside the government supporting an official reformation of the USA. Has the time come to finally reunite these, this land once and for all? Of course. Set cosmetic tag to the Union of American People's States. Which uh, doesn't sound all that good, but whatever. Uh, under the Communist Party of the Union. Excellent. Finally, America is back. And it will be great. Again. Uh, so now we can take foreign policy. Very good. Uh, it should also give us the event, the American Capital. Hold on. There we go. We're gonna start to pump out the air wings because we do have planes now that we have captured the enemy stores. capital. After reuniting all the breakaway nations of the former United States, our government must finally decide where the new capital will be located. A range of options have been proposed and it is our duty to search for them and make a swift decision. North, East, South, West, Central. Oh, okay, so let's see West first. Oh, I thought it would give us an option to go back. Oh, well. Uh... Los Angeles, Seattle, Salt Lake City, Phoenix, and Portland. We're just gonna keep it in Los Angeles, you know? 
gonna make the greater Republic of Los Angeles. Yeah, the Great American War, but that's gonna be next up. So I wanna thank you all for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the final crushing of the revisionist American Commonwealth and the reactionary uh, American Republic. And next up, we shall deal with the 800 divisions of Mexico. First and foremost, then we're gonna move down into Central America and South America and whatever the Forgotten Nations are. And then after that's done, we shall destroy the Democratic, quote unquote, Democratic League. And then if we've got time, you know, maybe the Soviet Union's a little too revisionist, especially with this European Union. What are they trying to accomplish? Is that anti-American? It might be anti-American. Our true communism cannot, you know, maybe cannot bear the thought that these people exist in the world. But, you know, that's for the future. We'll see. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon.